guys. First of all, apologies for the lack of makeup. I had a bit of a reaction to a foundation that I used, so I just wanted to give my skin a break. But I thought I would come to you with my bathroom declutter video. I just did a bedroom declutter video of this room that I'm in right now. If you haven't seen that, I will leave it as a link below. I'm not gonna sit and blabber for much longer. Let's go. Okay, so here's a before of my bathroom. It is such a mess. I've got leggings hanging on there. I've got clothes hanging on my radiator. All of this is a tip. This is a stool that Nelly sits on when I go to the toilet. Going round this end, I have these baskets on the windowsill. And they used to be like body, hair, random stuff. But they've all just mixed together, so I'm going to sort them out. I've got these brushes that I washed the other day. This isn't that bad, but obviously I want to give it a good clean clean. Inside my cupboards it looks like this. I'm definitely going to get rid of some of this stuff because I never ever reach for it. And then turning round into the shower I've got a lot of stuff down there that I don't use so I'm going to be decluttering that a lot. Ideally I would want just like one body wash, one shampoo and one conditioner in there. I've got some clothes in these clothes baskets. That's meant to be for towels and that's meant to be for clothes but I'm actually going to put a wash on first. Hey! I'm going to put a wash on first so that that's out of the way. My washer and dryer are actually in here. Hello emotions, hello again. Is every ocean come as rain? I know my circles, I know my name. Another sequel is on the way Oh, oh My love, my love We form and write On to tidying this black cart out. This was from Ikea. I literally just took every single thing off gave it a quick dust because it got so dusty and I put a few things back on it. I actually revisited this later because I found some more stuff that needed to go on it so I sorted it out again but for now this is just what this looks like. Again. For a quick little hoover i use this dyson hoover it is incredible i think it's the v7 it's the one that's got 30 minutes battery i wish i'd got the one hour battery but aside from that it is the best hoover ever it literally gets everywhere right i'm gonna move on to these baskets because they are something that needs doing asap so i think i'm just gonna empty them all first Before I empty the last one, I'm just gonna make this one a hair care one, because then it's easier going forward. So, these two are for hair. Got some Olaplex. This is for hair, dry shampoo. But I'm gonna get rid of this, because I literally never use it. It's the Davines All-in-One Milk. This one at the end, I will do as skin stuff. So that's what I wash my brushes with. Got some nose pore strips. Sudafed, which should be in my medicine cabinet. And then the last one I'm gonna save for fake tan. So literally all I've got right now is just one fake tan and my little mitt. corner I'm gonna put my perfume because I use that all the time. I thought I would pick out a few of my favorite things in these boxes to show you. I love this deodorant, it's the Right Guard one and this one, the Triple Dry, those are my two favorites. Then in this box the Colab Dry Shampoo is the best one I've ever used in my whole life. It doesn't weigh it down at all, it just gets rid of the grease so well. And another thing that I love is this detangling spray by Mane and Tail. That looks so much better. It's all organized now. I'm gonna clean this out now and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna get rid of after. So this is the before. This is so much better. I've just got all the stuff that I actually use now. So I've just got a few random bits down there. And then my eye stuff. 
So this is the stuff that I'm going to be decluttering. I've got a few deodorants here, which I'm just going to give to my mum. I found one that I really like, which is the triple dry one. So I'm just going to give these to my mum. Then I've got a moisturiser, a hairspray, a fake tan, a hair oil, Heal Genius, and a few face bits. I just never, ever reach for them. So I'm going to give those to friends and family. I'm going to give this as well. It's a L'Oreal Smooth Sugars Clear Scrub. And also these, what do you call them? Hand sanitizer. Sanitizers. I think I'm going to keep one, but I just don't need this many. So I'm going to give those to probably my mum. She'll probably have those. So that is everything that I've decluttered from my cupboard, which I'm so happy about. products that I use in the shower sometimes I use the head and shoulders one mostly when I've got extensions in because when I first get them done I find that they itch my hair so I just use that for a few days then I use these two Aussie products the mega shampoo which is a clarifying shampoo so it gets your hair really clean and then I use the three minute miracle conditioner I always use soap and glory shower gel I love it so much this isn't my favorite one the rich and foamless one is it smells like cookies and then I use this product which which is the Lee Stafford for hair that never grows past a certain length mass. I put my shampoo on and then wash it out. And then before I put conditioner on, I put this mask on the roots of my hair. It doesn't make them greasy at all. And then I put conditioner on the ends and I leave all of that on for five minutes. And I just find that it does help to grow my hair a lot. I've actually used this combination for years. Whenever I get my extensions taken out, I use it just to grow it a bit. And I'd say it's grown a little bit already. But the only other thing that I use in the shower is to actually wash the glass. And it is the Method Shower Cleaner. This one smells like passion fruit and it's so delicious. All you do is when you're in the shower, you wet the glass and then you spray this on it and it cleans it and it smells delicious. So those are my shower favorites. <laughs> I found four of my beauty blenders which needed washing, so I just washed those. I used the Johnson's Baby Shampoo. It works so well, this yellow one. It's what I've used for years. It seems to be the only thing that gets them um, quite clean. So I just went ahead and washed all four of those. Okay, so back to my black cart. I had to do a little rejig because I found some more stuff that needed putting on the bottom layer. So I just moved my shampoos and stuff around. This is kind of the hair care layer, except for the makeup wipes that I'm just about to put there. If you're wondering what these gloves are, by the way, they're what I use to scrub tan off. They're just from Primark. These are the products that I use for washing my clothes. This fairy gel doesn't make me itch at all and I've got quite prone to itchy skin. Does that even make sense? That is not English. But then I use comfort conditioner. It's my favorite one. I feel like the scent really lasts on comfort. The last thing I need to do is check what is in these drawers. I honestly have no idea. Okay, so I've got a lot of hair care in here. I'm gonna get rid of these contact lens things because they're not good for my eyes, they dry them out. I have a different one now. I'm gonna give away a few of these because I know I'm just not gonna use them. I've got this from when I had auburn hair, which I'm gonna keep in case I ever have auburn hair again. Okay, so that is everything that I'm getting rid of from this drawer. It looks so empty. I've got a couple of Saint Tropez, which I'm gonna give away because it upsets my skin. So I'll just take them out straight away. I'll use that one up.
this is what's going to friends and family from those drawers. I've actually got a bag outside that I'm putting it in, so I'm gonna pop that in there, and then I've done the bathroom. Okay, so here is my bathroom. Now it's done. Got all my towels hung on the rails. If you want to know where these pink ones are from, they were from Ikea and the spotty ones were from H&M. I don't think they sell them anymore, but I will link them if they do. And then my trolley is so nice and tidy as well. This was from Ikea too. I've just popped this little rug down and this little rug down, both were from Home Bargains, just to make it a little bit cosier. Then in the corner here, I've got a ton of cleaning products and my toilet rolls in a basket that was from ASOS. And moving up, I've got my little baskets. These were from Primark and they are all organized now and I use pretty much everything in here. Going round to my sink, I've got my beauty blenders drying so they don't normally look like that. And I'm also gonna go and buy a new toothbrush. So ignore the fact that I don't have that. But my cupboards are tidy, as you've seen. So nice and clean now. And then round to my shower, I've just got a limited amount of products in there now, which is fabulous. I do have my little hair turban on there and the towel that I'm using at the minute. Then I've just got my baskets, which are from Urban Outfitters. I get so many questions about these and they were so expensive. And yeah, now I'm just about ready to take my washing out. So this was a productive afternoon. There we go, lads finished. So that is the end of my bathroom declutter video. I feel so good that it's finally done. Let me know if you would like me to do a decluttering video of my other bedroom. I would definitely like to do that. I think that one's going to be the hardest one to do. I've got a lot of stuff in there. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you on Sunday. <laughs>